joining us on the news updates on Enyimba TV. I am Mary Ihejirika. Abba State Government has announced plans to sanction principals of schools that resumed on September 16 in defiance of an official directive that all schools in the state should resume on September 24, 2024. This was disclosed by the Commissioner for Information, Prince O.K. Kano, during a press briefing at the Government House in Omaha after this week's State Executive Council meeting, which was chaired by the Governor, Dr. Alice Oti. Prince Kano also revealed that the committee tasked with recovering school land had uncovered significant encroachment by religious organizations, market associations and communities on properties belonging to schools. He urged citizens to provide information that could assist in the full recovery of these lands. Abians are being urged to take advantage of the Nigeria Entrepreneur Loan Fund, NEL Fund, and other federal government interventions aimed at delivering the dividends of democracy to citizens. This call was made during a one-day sensitization program titled Sensitizing the Citizenry on Federal Government Intervention, held at the Police Officers Mess in Umwahia. Speaking at the event, the Honorable Minister for Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris, represented by Gloria Ifi Abiyakam, Director of the Federal Information Center in Abia State, encouraged Abians, including private individuals, public sector workers, and students to participate actively in government initiatives with particular emphasis on Nelfond. Mrs. Abiyakam stressed the importance of the Southeast Geopolitical Zone ensuring its inclusion in these programs to avoid being left behind in national development efforts. Chairman Nigerian Bar Association MBA ABA Branch Charles Onuchuku says non-appointment of judges and dilapidated courtrooms are frustrating justice delivery in ABA State. He explained that the high courts have fewer judges, while the magistrate courts lack courtrooms to sit and hear cases. Onuchuku disclosed that there are lots of awaiting trial cases with suspects languishing in correctional centers without trial. He said that there are fewer judges in the state's judiciary as more judges cannot be appointed following a suit filed by some persons against the appointment of judges. And in business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has confirmed that it will sustain its ways and means advances to the federal government at a 5% limit for the fiscal years 2024-2025. This information is based on the monetary, credit, foreign trade and exchange policy guidelines for the fiscal years 2024-2025 published by the EPS Bank on Tuesday. The latest development is contrary to a bill passed by the National Assembly which raised the maximum borrowing percentage in the Act from 5% to 10%. According to the guidelines, the CBN can advance up to 5% of the previous year's actual collected revenue to the federal government which must be repaid within the year to prevent a long-term physical burden. The CBN added that the advances would not be determined after recognizing the sub-accounts of the various MDAs, which are now linked to the Consolidated Revenue Fund to arrive at the FGN Consolidated Cash position. And on sports, the intense rivalry between Africa's top table tennis nations, Nigeria and Egypt, will be reignited at the 2024 ITTF African Champions in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, from October 12 to 19. Serving as qualifiers for the 2024 ITTF Mixed Team Cup in China and the 2025 World Champions in Qatar, the tournament will feature top teams and regional champions competing in two team events and five individuals events, which are men's teams, women's teams, men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. Returning to Utopia after 24 years, the local organizing committee promises an exciting competition as the reigning champions Egypt will face fierce competition from AK, AK rival Nigeria along with strong contenders like Tunisia and Algeria. And that's it on the news. Thank you for watching. On behalf of the production team, I am Mary Ihejirika saying do have yourself an amazing day.